In this day of fast food, cell phones, computers, instant messenger, and having things our way, we are used to immediate gratification. We want what we want, when we want it, and how we want it. 
and nothing else matters. Many are familiar with the song, I Did It My Way, written by Paul Anka and sung by Frank Sinatra in the late 1960s. I Did It My Way is a great song whose lyrics were beautifully sung by Frank Sinatra. As Christians, we must contrast that song with the life of Jesus. When you read Matthew's account of Jesus' baptism, which marks the beginning of, of, this, of his ministry, we see that Jesus rejected the option of doing it my way. He chose to live life God's way. The song that Frank Sinatra made famous has become such a classic that it often used at funerals. This would tell us that many have no clue as to what God wants of us. By using this song, they are saying that the song expresses an accurate description of their lives. That personal philosophy on which this song is based is the exact opposite to the Christian who is truly following Jesus. This is not what we should want to epitomize our lives. We should want to be known as Christians doing things God's way. Many people are searching about the meaning of things, and I do believe that most people really want to live a meaningful life. But sad to say, many just plod along a life that is empty and dissatisfied. Perhaps this is the reason that many people turn to society. God is ready to give a happy, satisfying life, but unfortunately, many people have rejected salvation and would prefer to do things their way. Many people act as though that they know more about life than God. When we try to manage our lives by ourselves, we find ourselves with perplexing problems for which we have no solutions. We face many problems that we did not foresee. We must be remembering the promise of God in Isaiah 45 verse 2. I will go before you and make the rough places smooth. I will shatter the doors of bronze and cut through the iron, the iron bars. An incident from the popular Peanuts cartoon series makes this point. Lucy speaking to her little brother, Linus. Lucy asks, what is the matter with you? Linus answers, I have a sliver in my finger. Lucy responds, aha, that means you are being punished for something. What have you done wrong lately? Linus answers, I haven't done anything wrong. Lucy says, you have a sliver, haven't you? That's a misfortune, isn't it? You are being punished with misfortune because you have been bad. Many people are like Lucy. They picture God as always angry and ready to give revenge. To them, every uncomfortable experience in life is brought about by God, who is punishing them for some past mistake. Paul states that God blesses us not only on the basis of deeds which we have done, but according to His mercy. Titus 3.5 God has created us to walk in perfect harmony with Him and to enjoy His fellowship and His blessings. True meaning this life can be discovered only as we go God's way. In fact, as we draw nearer to God, the questions that once bothered us, such as why or why me, become, become less important. Instead, our trust in God grows and our confidence in Him is constantly being reinforced. Questions are replaced with exclamation marks. G.I. Parker writes, Those who know God have great contentment. And he adds, There is no peace like the peace of those whose minds are possessed with full assurance that they have known God and God has known them. And that this relationship guarantees God's favor to them in life through death and on forever. It is no wonder that too many people grasp at straws trying to find meaning and contentment. They have missed the whole point of life. What are, the, what are we made for? We are made to know God. What should be our purpose in life? Our purpose, in, our purpose should be to know God. Jesus taught this with unmistakable clarity. This is eternal life which they may know the, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. John 17, 3. The, inex, the initial experience of knowing Christ brings salvation. The Apostle Paul speaks of his desire to continue to know him and to know him more and more as a primary goal in life for him as a believer. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death. Philippians 3, 10. To know God in this way will cost something. Since God has called us to a life of fellowship with His Son, 
First Corinthians 1.9, we can be sure that he will bring us into such an experience. This, pur this purposeful working of God in our lives is gentle and persuasive. It is a loving father working to keep his children close to himself. And if we love him in return, we will then be happy to surrender ourselves to his loving care. We will trust him even when it hurts. And even when we have no immediate answer to explain what we are experiencing. We have problems with this process that when we resist God and determine to go our own way. For many, this resistance becomes a contest of wills. Will it be my way or God's way, my will or His? Which way we go becomes a matter of choice. If we choose to do it our own way, then we must be prepared for the discontent and frustration and the unanswered questions in a life without meaning. On the other hand, if we choose to surrender the reins of our life to God, we we'll discover real meaning in life, along with the contentment that comes with that discovery. We will receive it only after we have surrendered our wills to God at all cost. So will it be your way or His? Will it be your will or His? God has perfect plan for us. It is a plan that brings great glory to Him. It is also a plan that brings meaning and contentment to our lives. If we choose to follow this way of surrender, it will be because we have come to trust His great love to give Him our best. I began this Bible reflection with Paul's Anka's great classic. I did it my way, and I want to close it with, I did it God's way, with different lyrics by Sam Minahem, but with the same tune. transition the future so unclear I'm afraid there's no remission I've lived a life that's cool I have some faults along the highway I plan my charity course and in that love I love my way and so I changed my plans and did it God's way yes there were times I was with all that I could do, but to it all, when I had doubt, I turned to God to figure out, pray to the Lord. I 
know about tomorrow I just live from day to day I don't borrow from each tree Which lies may turn to breathe I don't worry all the future For I know what Jesus said And today I'll walk beside him For he knows what is ahead Better things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand But I know Every step is getting brighter As the golden stairs they climb Every bird is getting lighter Every cloud a silver light Now the sun is always shining there no tear welled in the eye At the ending of the rainbow Where the mountain touched the sky Better things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand But I know can't know about tomorrow It may bring me poverty But the one who feeds the sparrow Is the one who stands by me And the path that is my portion May be through the flame of light But His presence goes before me And I'm covered with His blood Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand But I know and I know who's my
here and for Samuel Paul Amoncio. Watch out that no one deceives you. Many will come in my name claiming I am he and will deceive many. 
When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginning of birth pains. The marketplace is empty. No more traffic in the street. All the builders' tombs are silent. No more time to harvest weight. Busy housewives seize their labors and the courtroom no debate. Work on earth is all suspended as the king comes to the gate. Oh, the king is coming. The king Faces line the hallways, those whose lives have been redempt. Broken homes that he has mended, those from weeds that he has freed. Little children and the aged, hand in hand, tattered a glow, over crippled. Broken ruined, clad in garment white as snow. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. All men will hate you because of me, but he who stands firm to the end will be safe. I can hear the child tremble. I can see them marching toward the throwing of God's trumpet, spilled in of sin and wrong. Regal robes are now unfolded, heaven's grasped and old in place, heaven's wide. But in those days following that distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. men will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. And he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. The King is coming, the King is coming, I just hear the trumpet sound.
consider all the worst they hands of me. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. I wander and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze, then sing. My soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. shall come with shadow of acclimation and take me home what joy shall fill my heart then I shall bow and humble adoration and there proclaim my God, how great thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! Then sings my soul. So we 
despised by the world as the world draws up watch and for me. Oh, the dear lamp of God left his glory above to be left to God above me. So I'll cherish the old ragged clothes till my drop is at last I lay down. I went weak my home far away, where is glory forever I'll share. So I cherish the old rag of cross, till my drops at last I lay down. Shall put 
by a hand that would Then the hand of Jesus the tree And now I am no longer the same He touched me
near and near and blessed Lord to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me near and near and near and blessed Lord to the gracious bleeding side. Savior as my all and all. 
standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God.